Welcome to the demonstrational video for the VCM and A from Saturnian circuits. This particular module is a dual voltage controlled mute and amplifier with two invertible control voltage inputs per amplifier, Vactrol based click free muting, and fully buffered onboard normalizations and daisy chain ability. Let's begin by quickly going over the inputs and outputs of the module. Both channels have an input two control voltage inputs for the amplifier, a control voltage input for the mute, an output, and a negative output. We will start with a simple example of the VCA. Here, we have a static triangle wave coming into the input of amplifier A. We can use the bias control to increase the gain and listen to the sound. We can also use a slow cycling envelope to control the gain of the amplifier via the CV1 input. As we increase the CV1 control, we will hear our control voltage take effect. The two control voltage signals and the bias will sum together to give the gain of the amplifier. Since we have adenuverter controls for the control voltages, we can also use the negated version of our CV1 signal to subtract from the bias, giving the opposite response to the one before. We can add a different control voltage to the mix via CV2, giving a more interesting response. Now, let's take a look at the muting capability. The mute can be manually activated by the three-way switch. When the switch is down, the amplifier will be unmuted, in the middle position, the mute is enabled, and the upper position is a momentary unmute. The muting circuit is Vactrol-based and totally click-free. The momentary upper position can make the module very playable as I will demonstrate by adding a second voice to amplifier B. The mute can also be controlled by an external signal via the mute control voltage input. Here we will use a square wave LFO to open and close the mute. Now that a cable has been plugged into the mute CV input, putting the mute switch in the middle position will allow our mute CV to take effect. Since muting is a binary operation, a square wave with variable pulse width will work best as a control voltage. We can of course use our mixture of CV1 and 2 as well as the mute CV to give more complex responses. Now, we will explore the audio rate modulation of the VCA and mute. Increasing the frequency of our CV1 signal, we can get some interesting tones. We can use the bias to give a different timbre. And a second control voltage to give some movement. We can do the same with our square wave mute control voltage. Bringing the mute CV into audio rates, we get a much more subtle effect. Changing the 
pulse width of the control signal will give interesting effects. Using audio rate signals at all three control voltage inputs unlocks endless amplitude modulation synthesis capabilities. Next we will look at some examples of how to use the normalizations and daisy chaining. This comes in extremely handy in a number of situations, avoiding the need for an external buffered multiple module. Basically, on each module, all of the input signals from amplifier A, the input, CV1 and 2, and the mute CV, will get copied and sent to the corresponding inputs of amplifier B. That way, with nothing plugged into the inputs of amplifier B, we can reuse any of the inputs from amplifier A we'd like. One example of where this is useful is for chords. Here we have a four voice chord, the one, the three, the 5 and the 7 The daisy chaining between modules continues this idea by copying all of the inputs from amplifier B from the module on the left to the corresponding inputs of amplifier A of the module on the right. This requires a connection between modules on the rear panel, which I will explain later. If we wanted to control the amplitude of these four voices using the same signal, traditionally we would need an external buffered multiple module to make three copies of our CV. Here however, we can simply put our CV into the earliest input in the chain, and it will get normal down to the three other corresponding inputs, thereby controlling all four voices of our chord with only one CV input. These copies are buffered, meaning that you can theoretically daisy chain a signal across an infinite number of modules without the loss of signal quality. This daisy chaining will continue until a new input is plugged in, breaking the chain. It is important to note that specifically for the mute CV, the couple switch at the top right needs to be enabled in order for that amplifier to receive the normal mute CV signal. Otherwise, when uncoupled, the mute will behave as usual when the mute switch is enabled. Here is a short example of how we can use amplifier A and B and normal CV signals to give an interesting stereo image. We have the output of amplifier A panned hard left, and the output of amplifier B panned hard right. Last example shows how we can use a DC signal as the input to our VCA. 
We have a slow triangle wave LFO as our input, being sure to switch the AC-DC switch at the top left to DC for our DC input. For audio rate inputs, this should be switched to AC. For DC inputs, this can be in either AC or DC, but you will most likely not get the expected response if you have it switched to AC. Here, we are using our DC output signal from amplifier A as the CV for the audio rate signal in amplifier B. We can modulate our triangle wave LFO using CV1 and 2 of amplifier A to give a more interesting modulation signal. For audio rate signals, the output and negative output will sound the same and can serve as an inverted buffered multiple of the output in case you need to send it to two different places. However, for DC signals, the negative output will sound quite different as a modulation source than the regular output will. In order to daisy chain two modules together, flip the modules over. Use one of the four pin connector cables to connect the daisy out port of the module that will be on the left to the daisy in port of the module that will be on the right. If you had a third module you would just continue in the same way. And that's the end of the demonstration. I hope you found this video useful. If you would like to purchase this module or see the other modules we have available, please see the links in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I wish you pleasant interplanetary travels. Goodbye from Saturn. Thank you.